Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform 0-1 BFS in C++. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the shortest distance from source to all vertices if the weight of each edge is either 0 or 1. So that's why we call it 0-1 BFS because the weight of all the edges is either 0 or 1. So I'm going to show you first in theory and then I'm going to move to code blocks and show you guys the code. And I'll also give a link to the code in the description from there you can check it out. And this video is a part of my graph theory playlist, which is complete graph theory in C++. So do subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos and let's get started. So like I said, the task at hand is to calculate the shortest distance from source vertex to all vertices if the weight of the edges can either be 0 or 1. Okay, so let me show you guys a graph. So suppose this is my graph. This is my node 0, vertex 0. And suppose it's connected to a vertex, say 4. And then it's connected to a vertex, say 3. And then suppose it's connected to a vertex, say 1. And then it's connected to a vertex 2. And suppose 0 is connected to 2. So this is my graph. And suppose the weight of this node, say, is 0. Weight of uh, this edge, I mean. And the weight of this edge is uh, 0. The weight of this edge is 1. The weight of this edge is 1. And the weight of this edge is 1. And the weight of this edge is 1. And suppose my source is 0. So the task at hand is to calculate the shortest distance from source that is 0. So from vertex 0 to all other vertices. Okay. So what other ways are there of solving this problem? Obviously, you may know we have Dijkstra. We have Dijkstra's algorithm, right? But here we're going to solve it using BFS. And also, if you don't know what is BFS, I've made a video on BFS also. So you can check it out from the description or a card will appear on top right. You can check it from there as well. Okay. So one way of calculating is from Dijkstra's algorithm where we calculate from source to all distances but that is computationally more expensive, right? The time limit for that is more. We're going to do it using BFS which has a time of O of V plus E, a complexity of O of V plus E, okay? So we're going to use Dijkstra's concepts but we're going to solve it using BFS. So what was Dijkstra's idea? Well, what we did was we had the nodes, so I had 0, 1, two, three, four, right? And initially what I did was I made uh, zero as zero, the source as zero and the rest stayed at infinity, right? This is how we do in Dijkstra. And then if we were able to get a shorter path, we update it. For example, if I'm going from zero to one, then one is smaller than infinity. So I update it. So this is how we did it in Dijkstra. So, and that's the concept we're gonna use in BFS. And so what I'm doing is I'm first having a distance array, okay, and which is of having a size n. And initially what I'll do is I'll make the source vertex as zero and the rest as infinity. So this will contain the distance from source to each vertex, okay. And that's how we're going to do it. So I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to run a simple BFS. Like I said, if you don't know how BFS works, you can check my video out. So I'm going to run a simple BFS, I can go from, I'll run a simple BFS from 0 and whenever I get a node, I'll check the weight and if the distance plus previous distance is smaller, I'll update it and in the BFS we add a queue, right? We have a queue. So the only distance, the only difference is that here we'll have a DQ, meaning a doubly ended queue and then if we find a vertex whose weight is 1, then we need to consider it after. And if we find a vertex where the edge weight is 0, then we need to uh, consider it before, right? So if my point is if weight is 0, then I calculate that path before, right? So if weight is 0, then the, I'll calculate that path before. I'll calculate that path first. But if weight is 1, I'll calculate that path next, right? So if weight 1, after. Or I'll say next. So that's all I'm doing. So when I'm adding to the queue, if weight is 0, then I'm adding it to the front of the queue and if weight is 1 then I'm adding it to the back of the queue. So that's it. Now let's move on to the code where I'll explain it again. Okay. So I'll also give a link to the code in the description from there you can check it out. So that's how we're doing. First I'm getting in, I'm taking in the number of nodes. So n is the number of nodes. Let me increase the size a bit. Yeah. So first I'm taking in the number of nodes and then I'm making an adjacency uh, adjacency vector of size n, okay? So each node will have in its uh, adjacency list 
a vector of pair why pair so the first node is void the first node is the number of the number node and the next node is the weight corresponding okay i'll explain so so and then i'll take in the number of edges and then while edges minus minus i'll calculate x meaning i'll take in x and y and weight meaning the edge so edge is connected between x and y and the weight which is between x and y okay and here in adjacency list of x i'm pushing back y and the weight corresponding between x and y likewise in adjacency list of y i'm pushing back x and the weight corresponding between y and x okay so the first part of the pair is the node that it is connected to and then second part of pair is the weight between the nodes okay and initially like i said it will be infinity but here infinity i'm saying a large number it can be anything and so right now is zero so i'm taking in this example as only okay so source is initially zero and i'm creating a distance vector of size n and initially all values will be filled with infinity but the distance of source is what zero then i'm then i'm using a deck w and q and like we do in normal bfs i'm pushing s source to the front now simple bfs while q is not empty all i'm doing is i'm adding uh, is i'm taking in from the q the vertex v right that's how we do we pop it now going inside the adjacency list of v u is what the vertex it is connected to and w is the weight so if distance of v plus weight is less than the original distance till u we update it so that's what we were doing right for example if 0 plus 1 is less than infinity we update it because now we have a shorter distance so if distance of v plus the weight in between u and v is smaller than the already distance will update it so we'll get du d of u is equal to d of v plus w and like i said if weight was 1 then we push it to the back of the queue if weight is 0 we push it to the front of the queue and then we print it so let me run the same example which i showed you okay so in that example let's see what did we have we had the number of nodes as 5 so the number of nodes uh, is 5 let's see So the number of nodes is five, and the number of edges is one, two, three, four, five, six. Number of edges is six, and what is connected? So let's see. Let's just go to that window. Yeah. Okay. So what I have is I have number of edges as six. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and what edges are connected? So zero to four is connected with the distance in between as zero. 0 to 3 is connected with distance in between as 1 0 to 1 is connected with distance in between as 1 and 0 to 2 is connected with distance in between as 1 so we have a uh, 0 and 1 to 2 is connected with so here 1 to 2 is connected with distance in between as 1 and 3 to 4 is connected with distance in between as 0 so 3 to 4 is connected distance in between as 0 okay So this is my distance vector. So size from zero to zero is zero, correct? Size from zero to one is one, correct? Uh, size as in I'm saying the distance. Okay. Zero to two, the distance is one. Why? Because we can go from here to here. Instead of taking zero to one and one to two, I can directly move from zero to two. Distance will be what? One. Then distance from zero to three is zero. Why? Because I can go from zero to four and four to three. and distance from 0 to 4 is again 0 okay so that's how it's working we took the idea from dijkstra's algorithm and ran a simple bfs the only concept was if weight was 0 we added it to the front of the queue if weight was 1 we added it to the back of the queue because we want to make sure that the shortest distance is coming in okay uh, so that's it guys i'll give a link to the code to you in the description from there you can take it use it as you want it's a fully working code and that's it if you have any doubts just let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to answer thank you yo